Here's Thursday. This is your due now. I will expect for you to work on your due now on your own. So I would expect you to go and do your due now for today on your own and then come back and watch this brief video. So I want to go ahead and annotate this. I don't want to do it in my notebook. I'm going to do it by hand. So I'm going to hit Control Shift F4. I'm going to take a screen, screenshot of this. Down here, I'm going to hit annotate image. So on this bell ringer, it says to factor and solve x squared minus 9x plus 8. So to do that, it's a... I like to use the five-step method. There's plenty of ways you can do this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look, is there a greatest common factor. Well, to do that, I look at the number in front of x squared, which is a 1, so a is 1. And I look at the c, which is 8, c equals 8. There's no greatest common factor between any of those numbers and the negative 9, so that's done. We don't have to do anything there. Step 2, I take a and I multiply it by c. So my numbers are 1 times 8. What's 1 times 8? 8. Step 3, I'm looking for two numbers. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together to give me 8. But when I take those same two numbers and add them together, I actually get the B, which is negative 9. So hopefully you're thinking about two numbers that multiply together to give you positive 8, but add together to give you negative 9. Hopefully you've come up with negative 8 times negative 1. So I got my factors here, negative 8, negative 1. Well, I need to turn these into binomials. First thing I do is I say, okay, are these divisible by A? So what's A? A is 1. So I divide both those numbers by 1. Well, can you reduce these fractions? No, the fractions don't reduce, so we leave it like this. Next thing I do is I look at the two fractions, and this is a shortcut. I look at 1x. I put an x down here. This helps me set up my binomial. It's going to be 1x minus 8. So my binomial is going to be 1x, so we just write x, and then what's on top of the fraction? Minus 8. My second binomial is going to be 1x. So we just write x here. And what goes after that? Minus 1, because that's what's on top of the fraction. We set this equal to 0. Step 5, we solve. So x minus 8 equals 0. Add 8 to both sides. We get x equals 8. And then we got x minus 0, or x minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides. We get x equals 1. So your answers, you have two answers, x equals 8 and x equals 1. The way that we were taught to write them in Algebra 1 is x equals, fancy brackets, 1, 8. So I'm going to put this back in my notebook, Control-Shift, F4. Highlight the page you're trying to get, or the amount. Copy to clipboard. Let's go back to our slide and press Control V to paste it in. I moved things around a little bit, and so we already discussed midpoint segment bisector and perpendicular bisector on the last video. Next, what I'm expecting you guys to do is go ahead and drag each one of these into the correct spot. See if you can figure out what a point, a line, a line segment, a ray, opposite rays in a plane look like. Here is a finished product, so check your answers.